Hello everyone, welcome to my studio tour. If you're new here, my name is Jani and I'm an artist and small business owner creating art tutorials here on YouTube and art classes on Skillshare. Now I'm not making this video to brag about the things that I have, I just want to share my space and storage tips with you. Another thing that I would like to say is that you don't need all of this to create or follow your art passion. I've filled my studio over the years and most of the art supplies you'll see in this video were sent to me for free for marketing purposes. Now this is not only my working area, this is a space for me to relax, unwind and create. I am very excited to share this video with you so I hope you like it and if you do please hit the thumbs up to let me know this will really help my channel a lot. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe for more amazing videos. So this is how it looks from this angle. I really hate those cables right there. Uh, but yeah, that's the best I can do for now. Um, so in here, I have my fabric card. I recently started sewing and I have to say that I really love it. There's my dog spike. <laughs> I, I am obsessed with sewing now so yes um, I have bought some fabrics over this past month these are fabrics from Walmart and they are very nice I have some books that I bought you know to learn I'm also into embroidery now so yeah that's something that I'm really excited about trying out um, and here are some other fabrics colorful fabrics I like colorful stuff and in here this one is one of my favorites there's a papaya very tropical and then we have some watercolor fabric in here some flowers and down here we have some flat quarters and a dog a crazy dog <laughs> these are some of them are from Walmart some of them are from Joann's and I think the others from Michael's Papa. and some zippers some other fabric and that's that I also like to keep my vinyls and some other stuff for example some gift wrapping in here uh, wax canvas and some vinyls for, for my Cricut and this basket that I uh, bought a, at Ross I think Ross or TJ Maxx, I don't remember, but yeah, it's so cool and it has um, leather handles. Now in here, it's my fireplace. Now I have to say that I have my studio in one side of my living room. We have a small apartment, we don't have a room dedicated for my studio, but um, the living room and the dining room, uh, they have a lot of space. So this was another like extra area that we turned into my studio. So in here I have some plants and a candle, some books. And in here I store my irons. This one is new, I haven't tried it yet. The Oliso. Yeah, because this one is very cheap and it was leaking water all over the place. So I wanted to try this one. And this is a, just a basket that I have in here to store things, to, you know, to get to have more space to put stuff. That's a beautiful plant that my best friend gave me. And let's just go this way. And I'm going to show you, this is a Kallax storage unit from Ikea. And this comes just like the square. Um, it doesn't have the drawers or the doors that you have to buy them separately and Yeah, it's very it is very expensive to build it like this because I have this one and then The long one and the other one which is the same uh, Just like a different layout. So I'm gonna show you What I store in here So in the first drawer I'm not gonna show you everything because there's some gifts in here. <laughs> I just noticed uh, but yeah uh, this is some this I made with my embroidery machine isn't that cool so I'm planning to make some of these to sell and then in this drawer I store my cameras and my USB some SD cards 
and in here I have some tissue paper and some crinkle paper to package my orders and in here I have some address labels and I have to buy more boxes that is not enough for the orders I have already and in this door uh, that's door that's the, my husband's door he stores some of these things in there and in here I have some candles and some um, those are like a grow kit but I'm, I'm gonna start growing those herbs uh, later because it's winter now I have some embroidery hoops and some DIY projects Spike it's very interested in seeing what we have in here so in this corner of the studio I have a UV lamp for UV resin and in this uh, cart I store some fabrics some interfacing watercolor paper you name it it's very random in here but yeah and in this I'm sorry I'm out of breath <laughs> I'm completely out of breath I have a heart condition that is called inappropriate sinus tachycardia which means my heart rate goes up very fast for no reason so I can be just talking walking or moving my hands and my heart rate will go up uh, maybe 120 130 and it makes me feel like I'm running like my heart will be very fast so that's why I'm running out of breath so I'm sorry about that <laughs> okay so in here I have my trusty printer uh, this printer is almost four years old and I love it and in here I know this is gonna be weird for you but I love to keep the plastic thingies on new things I don't I don't I don't know why I mean I mean we need to protect our stuff I like to protect my things and if I can't keep this on, uh, I will as long as I can to protect the surface. So yeah. And these are some books that I bought from the dollar store. This is a cookbook and a stamped stencil paint. They are really cool and they were just one dollar. So definitely uh, check the, the dollar store book section. And then in here, I like to store my papers. You know, so it'll be close to the printer where we need to print something we have craft paper copy paper um, labels and stuff like that and then in this drawer I like to store more papers and uh, notebooks and stuff like that and in here <laughs> this is feature on make jewelry magazine when I used to sell miniature food jewelry on Etsy when I was really young as you can see <laughs> And then in this store, uh, we store my husband sewing machine and some inks. In the next uh, door, I have some of my genuine crafts, watercolor paint sets and acrylic paint tubes. And I also have some others, watercolor palettes and paint tubes. Uh, I have uh, my Chalcola chalk markers, which are awesome for painting on uh, resin, and my Barco um, markers. Uh, if you want to see uh, how these markers perform, I have a video. I'm going to link it below so you can see that. Here are my Gen Crafts watercolor palettes and some Artesa fine liners. I also have my trusty microphone the blue snowball some UV resin and then in here I have paint stuff I have some liquid tags some um, liquid white from Bob Ross in here I store my alcohol inks and yeah this is basically my paint mediums uh, door and then in here I have my paints so these little uh, wood boxes I bought at the dollar store too so they were uh, awesome to store my paints and they fit very nicely in here so here I have my Winsor Newton gouache, Dollar and Ronnie gouache, Turner's gouache, Marie's gouache and Bria Rees um, acrylics and next drawer more paint stuff I have some watercolor sets in there some 
oil pastels, some scented oils from Happy Cow White Supplies. Um, and I have to say, this smells amazing. I bought these um, when I was making my miniature full jewelry with polymer clay. I will add some drops of this to make the jewelry smell good. We have toner, pizza, birthday cake, and Nutella. Yeah, these are awesome. So I'm gonna leave links, all of the things that you will see here, I'm gonna leave links in the description box. So here, my trusty Sakura cold water colors, my gel pen, these are pastels and metallics, and my aprons. And in here, I have a snap, snap kit? Yeah, these are snap buttons. So this is a whole kit with the press and stuff. And this is a drawer that I'm keeping for my stickers because I'm now making stickers and selling them online. And this drawer is gonna be just dedicated to that. And then in here I store my like my jewelry pieces I make them and then I organize them by categories for example food um, like painting stuff and stuff like that and in here I store I store my already made pieces and my new stickers And in the last door from this unit, um, I have some Christmas aluminum boxes that I love. I love collecting this kind of boxes. My husband too, so yeah. And I have a Michaels um, storage unit for my markers and pens. Uh, my Turner's um, gouache, designer gouache. It's over there. And then I have some um, things to mix resin in that corner over there. And then on top of the unit, I have some fake flowers and my Silhouette Cameo 4. And maybe you're wondering what's that little box over there. And I'm going to show you. Ta-da! All of the cables are in there. And I, uh, my husband bought this for me because he knows I'm crazy about having cables all around. So they are organized in here. And if I need to connect something, I don't have to go behind the Kallax unit. I just can plug it in, in here, the lid on, and it looks pretty. And I have some lights, like a curtain, light curtain. You can't appreciate it right now. It doesn't uh, look like it's on, but it looks very pretty. And as you can see, this unit is kind of different because um, it was getting really expensive to buy the doors and the drawers and stuff like that. So we decided to buy two cardboards um, um, boxes and then I had those two baskets already. So I decided to put them in there and just uh, to put four drawers and two drawers at the top. So this is totally customizable. Um, and yeah, I think it looks really cool like this. And I'm going to show you here at the bottom, I have this little basket right here with polka dots. And it stores all of my books and magazines. And then in here, I have some uh, binders and the embroidery part of my embroidery machine. Now, these drawers are dedicated for sewing stuff. And in here have some ribbons and some hardware for um, like making purses and stuff. And this little basket, plastic basket I bought from Target from the dollar section. And then in here I store some clips, some embroidery tiny hoops, um, some embroidery thread tape bobbins and stuff like that and they're here on the side i have my embroidery uh like tools for the machine and stuff like that some more bobbins 
some more things for the um, purses, um, foil transfer kit for my Cricut, more uh, thingies, <laughs> and yeah. So in this box, I store things for resin and my resin mask, and in here I store canvases and painting surfaces. Now in here, I have some some more uh, sewing stuff, I have sewing thread, and I have um, my little Lego box. In this house, we all collect Legos, and we all love Legos. And this is my little box where I keep my bags, hardware, and some candy. These are some <laughs> gumballs that they only come in this like in Valentine's. Uh, a target and I really love them so I bought <laughs> two of them <laughs> they taste really good and then in this door we have more painting stuff I have my Artesa wash I have some uh, journals in here brushes my Bob Russ I love it. And then that's me. My husband bought that for me. And my son gave me one of his, um, that's a set that he has that has flowers. And he gave me one of them. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> and that's it for this unit. Uh, now on top, I have um, a tabletop easel. Uh, that is uh, really nice. And it has a drawer. I love this one because the part where you paint is completely flat and it doesn't have a hole like most of them so I can put paper and I can paint on paper and then I have this little box where I keep all of my like thank you cards, earring cards and stuff like that and that llama over there my son bought it for me for my birthday because he know I love them and the colors are very pretty and here's a plant that's dying as always hey how are you <laughs> and here's a, a gift from a very good friend of mine a lamp that i bought at the dollar store okay yep dollar store and this is like canvas like textured so i think i'm gonna paint on that and i'm gonna like it make it really pretty and then this is my plants corner the ones that have survived I suck at taking care of plants. I always forget to water them, but yeah, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, here's my little green corner. I like uh, to wash them while the sun just go that way. It's really pretty. It's a picture of my sister and my aunt and me. And a beautiful fox that a really good friend of mine made for me. Uh, she was my nurse at the hospital uh, when uh, they diagnosed me with inappropriate sinus tachycardia. I went to the hospital with a huge infection. Nobody knew what was going on. Uh, it was crazy. It was a mess. She was my nurse. She was there with me. Uh, the hard, One of the hardest moments of my life. And she was there supporting me. She was just such an amazing nurse. She took such great care of me and we became friends. <laughs> she, I told her that I really love foxes. Uh, that's my favorite animal. And she made this for me. So sweet. So I always keep it uh, very close to me. And here are some brushes, a little cup, and then here's my Cricut Maker, the one that I use. Uh, for cutting fabric and this is one of my new stickers if you're interested I'm gonna leave a link below so yeah and here's uh, my son painted this for me for my birthday daddy spike Dylan me and a deer because <laughs> we recently saw, saw some deers uh, in the street and it is all new for us here living here I never saw a deer in my life 
and they were so close and we were so excited and he knows that I, I was so fascinated so he draw me a deer for my birthday <laughs> isn't that cute oh and a unicorn that he made for me and then in here I have all my embroidery threads uh, these are from Amazon the colors are very vibrant uh, for the price they uh, are awesome they don't break easily uh, and you have a variety of colors to play with so I really like that and a I really love this art I never buy like art from uh, you know stores and stuff like that but this got really close to my heart because it says don't look back you're not going that way and since uh, as you may know I have some health issues and now I'm getting technically because <laughs> Uh, better because I still have some other stuff, but yeah, I just don't want to ever look back and keep going forward So in this part of my room I Have my computer my desk and my sewing machine and So in here I also have another lamp from the dollar store that is really helpful one dollar and as you can see yep it's great and in here in the back i have my demo which is the best invention ever like if you are thinking on investing on this thing do it because it's really worth it like before i used to print my little shipping labels in my printer cut them and then put them on the boxes but it was so it's time consuming and you spend a lot of money on inks with this, this is a thermal printer, you don't have to buy inks, you don't have to buy, uh, for example, if you're going to do it in your printer, you have to buy sticker paper, you have to buy inks. For this, you just buy the sticker roll and that's it. It's very, very good to have one of those. So here in this area, I have this um, bin with my highlighters and pens, very handy. Uh, this is my to-do list and I'm trying my stickers on here and stuff and in here is my Kallax I mean Olex drawers and I have yeah everything very well organized I have my pens and I have some um, like acrylic markers and stuff uh, I have some watercolor brushes sticky notes and then in this drawer I have packaging stuff for my orders and the earring studs that I put behind my earrings. And then in this drawer I have some journals, some Purell wipes to keep everything disinfected while I'm packing my orders. My slippers. Yeah. <laughs> and then in here I keep some... Uh, I always say this wrong. Putty, putty. I don't know how to call it, but this is really fun to play with. And I have a couple of them because I'm obsessed with them. And then we have some um, antibacterial hand sanitizer. And then we have, um, yeah, a lot of stuff. <laughs> Electronic stuff, um, some lip gloss to keep my lips hydrated. And in here, I have some candy because, you know, <laughs> and then I have my watercolor collection, my charging thingies, and some tape, and some, how do you call this? Wallflower, wallflowers. Yeah, these are from Bathroom Body Works. I have to keep them in here. And then in the last drawer, I have a lot of random stuff. Like pencils and stuff that I may need, paper, glue gun, and stuff like that. And here in the corner I have another one of the, those, some things that they won't fit anywhere else. So I put them in here so it doesn't look messy. And I have my computer, my salt lump, and some scissors. And here's my sewing machine. So this is the SE600 and she's a sewing machine and an embroidery machine. 
I really like it. She is my new baby. And down here, I also store... There's my slippers. Oh my god. I forgot to move them out of the way. Uh, my trash can and my self-healing mats uh, to cut fabric and the Cricut and Silhouette mats right over here. And that's it. This is my room. I hope you like it. Um, if you have comments or questions, please leave them down below. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!